got back from the gym. We just did cardio. Toaster strudels. What? I'm toaster strudels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think I said we're eating toaster strudels? <laughs> we're not eating toaster strudels. We're gonna do slap. Eat a new tray. I feel like this is your favorite one. It is, and yet I'm so confused over this right now. So confused Best over what? 10, 29, 23. 10, 29, 23. I literally just bought that the other day. Wait, 10, 29, 20. Oh, that's later this year. Because I was thinking. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? No, it is. This is my favorite. I think it's just because it's so friggin' consistent. Like, you know exactly what it is. When did we eat last night? Because I woke up. I, all, I, I also woke up. Last night, I told you I kept waking up last night? Yeah. I woke up last night at like 4, mm -hmm. and I got up and I ate. <laughs> no, you didn't. I ate a whole thing of saltines. I was totally... In the dark. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> Look at this. Evidence. Last <laughs> night. Holy shit. I didn't even wake from that. I woke up at 2 to let Romeo out. Mm -hmm. And then huh. went back to bed and just. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, all right. What I'm going to eat later, let's see. I'm going to do some laundry and then shower. Okay, which one of these are your favorites? That is loud. What? For lunch? Yeah. We have so many salmon. options. Salmon? I haven't had fish in a bit. This salmon is really, really good. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of sriracha. Is it like really sriracha? -y? No, not at all. Okay. Or if you want to get crazy, I brought bulk ground beef. If you want to do that egg ground beef. <gasps> Where is it though? I brought rice too. Yeah. Oh my god. Ground beef, rice, and egg. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like a poke bowl. You said poke bowl or poke bowl? <laughs> it's pokey. Oh, yeah. here it is. Yeah. All right. Done. And look at all these fresh organic eggs. Who got got us these eggs again? Your cousin? My mom's cousin has like a like a chicken coop. Tino just stepped out to take a work call. I just made Romeo's breakfast, which is a mix of human food and kibble. Romeo, eat. Come on. Okay. I can't. Now I'm gonna make Tino a smoothie because he's still hungry. And I made this really bomb strawberry smoothie yesterday, which I kind of want some too. So I'm gonna make that now. Strawberries. I think I'm gonna do some cherries before they go bad. Last thing I need is some protein powder. And of course some peanut butter. Probably gonna get kind of messy. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh, almost forgot the most important part. Actually, really good. Never thought of putting cherries in the smoothie till literally today. My addiction to this espresso is unhealthy. I actually need to have one every single day, even though I don't need caffeine because I wake up like a little firecracker. Also, this creamer is the best definitely not healthy gut club approved but oh my friend ty put me onto this and tino's mom actually had an extra one so she gave it to us it's just it's just so good espresso, shower, chain myself to a chair so that I can get some work done. And that is the game plan for today. So good. So it's been awful weather. Let me just turn the thing off. 
It's been awful, well, not awful, it's just been like humid and rainy. And I mean, I didn't wash my hair, so this is like a really bad representation of the, what I'm about to show you. But I used this product the other night. Uh, where and the first night I used it, it honestly made my hair like defrizz and it just kept like the natural curls. I just look really crazy right now because I went to the gym and like it's humid and I showered, but next time I do this, I'm definitely going to vlog it because I was so impressed with how everything came out and I never wear my hair natural because I just never knew like what products are good for. Um, I guess I have like wavy hair, like my hair is really like dead straight from here to here and then it starts getting like kind of like these like mermaid kind of curls or like they kind of look like surfer girl curls. I don't know. Um, they actually look a lot curlier than usual probably because I added in this product, but actually I'm very impressed. Decided to not get ready because I have a meeting in 45 minutes. So I'm gonna make some food, eat. I have to do some stuff online really quick before that meeting. And after that call, I'm just gonna literally chain myself to a chair and just like focus. My ability to focus the past couple weeks has just been chaotic. And I don't know if that's because I'm not like in my own personal space and everything. For some reason, just my, my ability to like sit down and start the task. Like once I sit down and I start it, I'm good. But actually getting to that point has been an uphill battle, so. Yeah, sucks. Time for some breakfast. I'm gonna do two organic eggs with some ground beef and some white rice for carbs. Found some microgreens from the other day. I'll probably toss these on top. And also overnight oats from Nutre. Chef's kiss. I like always need to have a little snack while I'm cooking and most of the time it kind of backfires because by the time my meal's ready I'm already like mostly full but I don't learn so I'm going to continue to do it. So fire. All right eggs are done. Look at these buttes, I mean, come on. Rookie mistake making the eggs before heating up the beef, but whatever. Loading up on the beef because it's just so hard to get protein in. I have noticed though that since living here and well, literally living here for the past like month, um, and eating Nutre, like so much easier to get my protein in because the hardest part actually is the cooking of the protein, especially me, like I'm a psycho and I hate cooking chicken because I'm convinced that I'm gonna undercook it and give myself food poisoning, which has never happened, but my college roommate got food poisoning from that one time and just watching her go through it was quite terrifying and ever since then I've had like PTSD over something that's never even happened to me. It's just so much easier having the protein already cooked for you and having everything just ready. I've noticed that my protein intake has gone up since eating Nutri Meals because of that reason, which is good because I've also been working out more consistently so we need 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 to be eating tons of protein if we want to see some results from all that hard work and done so some microgreens ground beef rice and two organic eggs so freaking good <laughs> i'm eating a good pop which is basically like a dairy-free popsicle strawberry shortcake flavor slaps um and tino gave me a massive like to-do list so i'm gonna start on that
Take Romeo for a walk. And then I'm responding to our comments on the ads for Nutri. Anything crazy? No, all good stuff. Love this service. Food is amazing. Low sodium options are definitely a plus. Just switched new to Nutri from Factor. The Nutri meals are so much better. And absolutely, I'm going to be a loyal customer. I'm really happy with the food for the service. My co my coworkers have decided I can continue to bring this to work to eat as they like the smell as I heat up the food. Can't wait for this week's order to come. <laughs> also the protein balls, yup, they do the trick too. Wait, there's nothing worse than working somewhere and they're heating something up and you're like, that's foul. It smells like absolute ass. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just received my second order. First time having a meal plan as I always cooked. This brought my stress levels way down. Such a good food, so healthy. Time is everything. These mints are so good too. Look like, see all these people are so crazy. Like, I would never see an ad and write like all this stuff. Another one. After having issues with another company, I did some research looking at the reviews, decided to try Nutri. I love the reliability of the delivery. The food is all delicious and does my daily macros and calories. I recommend this to my training clients with and will the nutri and the nutrition clients too. So much better than eating out multiple nights a week. But like this they just comment is on an ad. It's not even like Google review. Because they like your product. Like, what? That's no, amazing. No, no, I know. It's just, it's just like crazy. Like, it's all, they're all good. Someone actually asked me if it's cheaper um, to eat Nutre or um, to just like buy groceries. Uh, it's so much cheaper, in my opinion. Again, like you can do chicken and rice and save money if you buy everything in bulk. But if you want like actual variety, if you want to get like a filet or a salmon filet with rice and broccoli and broccolini and asparagus. When you go to a grocery store and try to bustle all that up, it's going to be like 13 to 14 15 dollars, and then all the time to cook it, and then all the time to clean it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like remember we talked about juicing. Oh, I don't juice because it's so expensive and time consuming. And it's just not worth it. Exactly. So it's the same. Idea. I would rather spend like 20 to 30 dollars a week on a juice if I'm like into that, same than idea. than do it myself because just forget it. Same. And then. The time going to the grocery store, coming back, mm -hmm. and then the waste. So if you buy deli meat or if you buy fruit and then all that expires, or you buy meat and that expires, the waste that goes into it, you mm -hmm. save 10 times out of 10. Yeah. Or like a lot of these like complex, more complex dishes, like you don't know how to make it. And then the macros, to try to track the macros when you're making that stuff, like Nothing when you're can. cooking oil, butters, or whatever you're going to cook, and then try to reverse engineer that and to figure out what that meal actually is with macros, it's a bitch to no, do. No, I know, I tracked my macros for two years. It was miserable, but mm. yeah. But you guys have it on my fitness pal, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. How was um, your work day? Mm, good. Just calls and meetings and marketing stuff. Today's Tuesday, right? A lot of marketing stuff today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then uh, more like action items for Thursday and then I got to get more stuff done Friday so the weekend doesn't happen. Yeah. A lot of stuff is just like marketing and scaling right now. Marketing, scaling, marketing, scaling, adjusting, marketing. Yeah. Trialing error, trial error, this works, this didn't. You see a lot of money for it because it's like you can trial something for $10,000 in marketing and it doesn't work and you just have to like eat it. Yeah. And use it as like your learning experience. Learning experience and you just keep doing that until you find stuff that hits. Yeah. Tino's helped me a lot right now with my marketing and scaling mm -hmm. because I grew my business all organically and it kind of just happened on on accident not on accident like I had the intention of having a business but I didn't think it was gonna like hit the way it did and it did because the pandemic so people cared a lot about their health and then two I went viral like several times um, on TikTok um, and once on Instagram in 2020 and 2021 so that was just like free marketing like up the wazoo mm -hmm. and then now it's at a point where it's like okay I have systems in place and I built this business and it's like how do you get to that next level like you just don't know what you don't know mm -hmm. that's what happens with business owners like they don't 
you get to a certain point, then you're in waters you never swam before, and then you have one or two things. You either have to make the mistakes for like two years to try to get where you need to go, or you find a mentor to expedite those processes, and you expedite that learning curve into like two or three months, or even sometimes one month, and doing two years of banging your head against the wall. Mm-hmm. Mentorship is important when you get when you get to a certain point because it's like you got to a certain point as an entrepreneur and now it's like I know what I know and I don't know what I don't know. So mm-hmm. you have to one or two options. You have to pay for the experience or you find a mentor that's done what you've already done to expedite that learning curve. Exactly. Yeah, like I had my business in place and then my friends in Texas, they're all like levels ahead of me from like a business perspective. And they're like, you need to figure out your systems you need to like hire you need to do x y and z so they kind of opened up my eyes to that side of business of like oh i don't have to do things alone like i don't have to be the one taking sales calls i don't have to be the one sending these like emails that you know an assistant could send or things like that so i hired my first business coach coach chad whose wedding i'm actually going to or we're actually going to Mm -hmm. next month so soon Mm -hmm. um And he's the one that really showed me how to like scale from like a higher perspective and showed me how to do all of that. And now that I have everything in place, I'm like, okay, now it's the marketing and all of that, which is so hard because like if you don't know Mm. what to do, it's really hard. Like the, not not the brand. It's hard in a different perspective. It's hard financially, but in terms of like doing, you have to hire the people to do it and then you have to try to find the right person. That's. But I don't know. I don't know if they're doing a good job. Like when Tino's on my like calls for ads and like marketing, it's like a different language. I have no idea what he's saying. I'm just sitting there like. Yeah, but I didn't either, you know, until. But we just. I've just been. I was at the same place that you were, and then it took a year of being on those calls to like finally like understand what's going on. Yeah. We are gonna hang out with Tino's mom and walk around you. Okay. We call him Leg Sleeve Lorenzo. Enzo, nickname. Nickname Enzo for I short. Went from Valentino to Enzo overnight. Yep, Leg Sleeve Lorenzo. Don't you forget it. Fun fact about Lorenzo is my parents didn't want me to have tattoos, and they found out I had tattoos when I was 23. When me and my oldest brother got into a battle royale and he punched me in the face, he ripped my shirt off, and my parents were there at the dinner table. And that's when everyone found out, and I was so embarrassed, I stayed at a red roof inn for about 10 days. Why were you embarrassed? I was embarrassed. Because my no one in my family, not even my cousins, have any tattoos, and I was the first one. How did you hide a tattoo on your body, like even in the summer? We don't vacation. We never vacation. But like, what if you're like at a pool, or if it's hot out? And and we, you... No one had pools. Hmm. When it was hot out, I wore t-shirts and shorts. I had them in my, my ribs and my, uh, my ribs and my chest. What about like a beach day or something? We never went to the beach. <laughs> kind of, yeah, we're not like uh, we're old school Italians over here. We like okay, bowling games on Sundays. There's and nothing about. more old school Italian than grabbing a lawn chair and sitting on the boardwalk and tanning. No, that's like Americanized Italians. Real mm-hmm. guineas wear button ups and like they lay their ass and they just sit on. You know, tables and chit chat, and they eat and they have dessert. And they don't take their shirts off. I just think of like Revere, it's just on the boardwalk, everyone's just like super tan. And I've seen my dad with his shirt off maybe like twice in my entire life. Oh, really? And he always has button ups or polos. Okay, well, so that makes sense that you were able to hide it for so long. Oh, yeah. Depending on what time we have to wake up tomorrow, we might do the same morning routine, which is waking up, meditating. We didn't show meditating because, I don't know, I just feel like it's so fake when people vlog and they like vlog themselves waking up. Like we know you set the camera up and pretended to wake up. You know, like that that just irks me. You didn't put it there like overnight. Yeah, that just irks me. So like, I'm sorry, but in my morning routines, you're just never gonna see me wake up. Um, I'm just gonna like show a clip of like Romeo on the bed or like, me brushing my teeth or whatever because I'm not, I'm just not going to be fake like that. Um, but we woke up, we meditated, we brushed our teeth, went to the gym. Tomorrow might be the same exact thing unless 
Well, I think I, I need to meditate a little bit longer tomorrow. That five minutes didn't really do it for me. Yeah, but we did five minutes because you snoozed your alarm for 20. No, I know, I know. 100% <laughs> self-inflicted, but... Yeah. Usually we do a 15-minute meditation in the morning, but he is like the CEO of snoozing the alarm. Big things. snooze guy. Yeah, big snooze. Opposite opposite morning people opposite opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to the morning time new workout is holding this fucking vlog camera up i know how your shoulders oh, burning shit. right um but tomorrow depending on what time you have your first call first meeting we might what the other thing we've been doing or like trying to implement is waking up meditating going to the sauna and then like showering and getting our day done or started and then going to the gym later on in the day Personally, I have to start in pl implementing cold plunges. For me, cold plunges with my anxiety stuff that I deal with, it, it really helps. Um, I did like 60 days or 45 days of doing it every day. But I'm gonna start building a, a, a cold plunge room in my house. So I have to like get on that for a little bit. It's probably gonna take me like a couple of weeks to figure it out. But for now, I have like an outside plastic tub that I can use for now. It'll get the job done. Yeah. All right. Time to eat dinner. How do you stop this thing? Red button. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Even worse. They're just talking shit about me because I gasp. It's leg day. It is leg day. No more gasping. No more gasping. We gotta do like a leg. What is it? Electric therapy. Electric like shock like there. Like a Pavlov's dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put, a put a shawler Except for the opposite. Instead, when I see food, I don't salivate. I, when I gasp, I get a shock and I stop gasping. It's like a bark. There's a voice in that says, don't do it. Yeah, it's like a Just bark. don't do it. All right, let's go to the gym. All right, Romeo, stay. On the way to the gym, and we see a turtle. Showcase the turtle. Where the fuck do I put him? The trail? Um, <laughs> let me see, let me get a closer look. He's so cute. Um, I would put him, yeah, like not on the street, like maybe in that person's backyard. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Not all heroes wear capes. Tino is currently checking on the turtle, making sure it's okay. <laughs> so he said he dropped it over there, but there was like a little fence, so he just wanted to make sure it like properly <laughs> made its way into the forest. <clears throat> we also got bananas to make a smoothie because we have no fruit at home. He found a home? I think so. He's not there anymore. Good. Love to see him. You could see like all the leave marks like of where he was though. Oh, okay. Good. Must have screwed off. What did you do at the gym today? Uh, back day, 20 minutes of Stairmaster, because I gotta get rid of my gut. And smoothie, new tray for lunch, new tray for dinner. Say Wednesday? Mm hmm Say Wednesday? Mm hmm And potentially pickleball tonight with my partners who are here from Brazil. His family's here from Brazil and they want to play pickleball tonight, so. Ooh, you're gonna get smoked low-key they're fire and i'm low-key ass no you're pretty good at tennis so i'm pretty good but these guys are like trained brazilian warriors oh yeah you're gonna get brazilian warriors so they like train on their like off days they're unsullied they're the unsullied they they have no private parts and they're just <laughs> they just train for this shit and then uh, i got some marketing stuff to do with new trade today and i have a meeting in boston today with a with a very very exciting uh, meeting actually. It's with a doctor I've known for a long time and he's in the startup space and he wants to do some stuff with Nutre that of an idea that we have. Oh, the Italian one? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm pretty excited to meet with him. I haven't chatted with him in like two years. Nice. How I know him or how we got close is he, this guy, this kid that we knew, he burned me for like 200 grand and he burned him for like 500 grand. So like we like bonded over it. Trauma bond, Tra and, uh, trauma bond. He, used to call me. he actually got him put in jail. What? Yeah, the FBI got this guy on a plane going to France. They thought he was evacuating the country, and then they. But he started the lawsuit. 
like he started the like he tipped off the FBI, tipped off the SEC. That's and, uh, insane. Yeah, so that's how me and this guy bond, so I'm sure that's gonna come up in conversation today. Oh. Alright. Well, I did legs at the gym per usual. Today I have to do onboarding for a new HGC practitioner. Show her the lay of the land with our um, CRM and with like all the like protocols and like how we do things at HGC. What about the ambassador stuff, the deck, the do's and don'ts? And I'm gonna do the ambassador stuff before that and then later today probably just like start editing some content. So just a mosh posh of work stuff. It's good though. You have to get that, that ambassador deck done first though. So If you're from Boston, you probably know Fernanda Shaw. She's a trainer and she created her own clothing line. And I bought a bunch of stuff from her. So this is one. And then I bought some shorts and then I bought some black leggings that I wore in another. Oh, wait, no, I didn't wear the black leggings in another video. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. I love how it has like the crisscross here and it has the removable padding. Deep V doesn't have like the ruche or the scrunching or anything. Soft material and today actually at the gym, someone came up to me and was like, um, can I feel like the band? And I let her feel the band and she's like, oh my God, this feels like Buff Bunny. And I've never tried any of Buff Bunny's like leggings or anything, but I feel like people really love her stuff and it's really good quality, so. Yep, that's that. Making lunch now and just did bulk of the ground beef from Nutre and then gonna mix the bulk of this white rice from Nutre as well. And then going to do two eggs on the side there. Vlog, this is Costa. What's up, Vlog? Costa, the dog whisperer. Can you show my outfit really quickly? Okay, so these are actually the other pants I was talking about from Fernanda from Incredible Is You. So they're kind of like high-waisted. I like how it has a band, like, if you look at the details, it's here it actually shows like a difference between the band and the leggings it's not just like totally straight like other ones and then it has like a v in the back with like a scrunch see the scrunch v though i just feel like it's not like if you were to squat what it's yeah. squat proof go oh crap the food this is the best part when the yolk starts spewing I know. I'm just gonna hit There's that. nothing worse than kind of like overcooking it and it's like not you don't as get the runny. Yolk. Yeah. Oh, it's you like the best combo is yolk and ground beef. You mix and you just get it all mixed up. You're wild for doing that, like mixing everything up. Do you what? do that for Thanksgiving dinner? No, it's a completely different concept. Well, I don't know. Is it? Yes, is of it, course though? it is. Yeah, this is a you. This is a jump up. You put everything together and you mix and match. Hi. Aww. Today we did the other, I guess, like morning routine that we've been trying to implement, which is the sauna, but we went to the gym and then sauna. Usually we were just doing the sauna, showering working and then going to the gym so again this vlog is like just a mosh posh of things but wanted to close it out appropriately Boy. it's pretty nice out we're just gonna lay out and work yeah i mean it's cloudy but at least it's not raining what do you got for today uh, i gotta do a lot of ambassador stuff because we're expanding into those new states so just making sure i get the kpis done for our team lead so i'm gonna create a new kpi sheet what states are you expanding to? Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, Ohio, Indianapolis, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Virginia, DC. I think that's it. 
Well, that's the end of the vlog. We'll see you next time. Bye.